home back with another review. Oh man, and I am having a great, great time. And man, the past few days have been nothing but awesome. I really. First, Manabu Enyonsu done brought me those Transformers from Japan. -y. Then, I got to pick up a Jetwing Optimus Prime, the black version, for like 50% off. I mean, that's like almost half or something. And then, Foo Reviews done did a review uh, about Year of the Horse Optimus and like dedicated it to me. And at the very beginning, there's this awesome, awesome, awesome picture he done drew, which is just, wow, fantastic. I mean, I enjoyed it. Thanks so much, Foo. And uh, I'm going to put a link if you want to check it out because uh, I think his reviews are funny. I enjoy them. So uh, please check out Foo. So uh, on to the next great thing, which is Rhinox. Now you might not know this, but I done loves Rhinox and Beast Wars. Beast Machines, forget about it. Man, that, that done, oh man, I done got angry. Forget about it. Because what they done to Rhinox, I no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. But anyhow, during the whole time of Beast Wars, you got that tiny little deluxe size Rhinox. And everybody was like, wait, when are we going to get a big one? Give us a big toy. But they didn't. And finally, 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 they deliver. And man, I done waited for the Takara version. Because, uh, man, I, I like the Hasbro version. It looks good. But, man, when I saw what the Takara is going to look like, I was like, yeah, I just wait. And I done waited. And here it is. And it looks awesome. I mean, really, just look at that. That is amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's check out the box. And then we'll open them up and check out the insides. All right, so, uh. And hands just do that little spinny thing. Yep. And you can see the corner art, which is cool. I like that IDW art there. And then in the back, we got the picture of uh, Rhinox and the Japanesey. And, uh, well, we have his tech specs. And Rhinox has the strength of a nine. The intelligence of a six. That seems a little bit low, but okay. Um, speed of a three. Endurance of a 9, Rank of a 5, Courage of a 10, Fire Blast of a 6, and the Skill of a 6. Well, that, I don't know, that seems low for Rhinox, but maybe I just got a high opinion of it. Alright, turn the box. And we got this side here with the little Maximo symbol. And right to the front again, and... All right, let's get to the opening up and uh, reviewing and eating. All right, let's go. Woohoo! I can't wait. Great week. Fantastic. Woohoo! All right, and here we have Rhinox in his beast mode. And this is fantastic. I mean, really? And they have like a soft plastic it's not like soft rubber but it's it's a little bit harder and very nice because you know you have a little bit of leeway in um getting the tabs together and you're not so worried as when things just lock in but man all the way around the details you know the little tail i mean the skin i mean look at that that is fantastic. And all the way around, I mean, that face is amazing. I mean, really, really great. And of course, you got the mouth, and the mouth does open. And yes, if you open the mouth, hi, how are you? Right there, but that's okay. And if you look at the bottom, even the bottom looks all right. You know, that ain't bad. It fills it in nice. Really, that's great. Articulation? Not really. You might be able to move a leg. 
you know, you can move this forward and back, but and the mouth. That's really about it. Yeah, that's really all you're getting out of them. But look how great that looks. All right, so let's get him into his robot mode. All right, so let's get Rhinox into his robot mode. So first we're going to go and we're going to untab in here. And like with anything, although I'm much more comfortable moving these tabs than I was with Prime. The uh, first edition Prime. Because these tabs are, like I said, it's a soft plastic. So I don't worry anywhere near like before. Now here's his uh, guns. Which you go pull these guys out. So now you got this part's all open here. Alright, once we got this guy open. Now we go to the back legs. Flip out these guys. His uh, feet. Okay, we're going to take this, flip this up. Out of the way, and we're going to take... Um, this hip joint here is going to come down. And there's the hinge. And it's coming down to here. So you get the legs that way. So once again, this uh, thigh, yeah, right here on the hinge, bring it down, and it becomes his feet. All right, now the part that's probably tricky. All right, so now his uh, hips are all the way up here. You're going to pull down. So you have to pull down to get the hip here, and then you have to swivel it. Hold on. But you gotta have the legs set right. Yeah, right there. And you gotta swivel it around. That way his uh, hip joint is in the right position. Okay, so we got that done, that done. I think uh, this part, next part that goes on. Once I have those feet done, come over here. Is opened up, and how do these turn again? All right, yeah. So this part here is going to come this way. So we have this part here, and it's just gonna. Sorry, from this position here where it was, you open it up, and then we're gonna. So the joint, one joint here. Second joint's here, you're going to push in, and then this right here is a swivel, so you're going to just go like this. And that's going to be his uh, side. So, once again over here, so back, push that one in like this, and then we're going to take and swivel it inward like that. So you have this part right here. Next part, we're going to take the arms, and the arms just pull out. And the sides pull out with it. Isn't that nice? Alright, pull this guy. Lock it in. Now look there. Just try to get close. There, right here, there's a little ledge that it reaches onto. Or snaps into. Right there. You can move the arm down. Alright, now the arm. You're going to pull out the arm. Somehow. Yeah, there it goes. Right there. And then, of course, it's real simple. Move the, uh, open that up and flip around the hand and close it back. And you got the arm. And then, of course, rotate to here. So once again, and this takes a little bit of pulling, but uh, pull like that. Come over here. Open it up. Take out the fist. Close it. And then, like this. Alright, almost there. Okay, Rhinox, hang in there. We're almost done. Alright, the next part is probably going to be taking the mouth. Take the mouth, open up the mouth. And then the head pops out. And the head, there's one tab there. And right here on the back of the head, that tab, that tab's in. So just untab it and pull down his uh, chest, and this part here goes down. 
and now it's just all going to push down like this into there this comes down here this is here and so last little bit is going to be the head part which is pull down back here and then we have Rhinox in his robot mode and there he is all right all right and here we have Rhinox in his robot mode and wow that is an awesome face now it is not a uh, show accurate but I mean it is nonetheless awesome I mean it really really is an awesome awesome face that they got right there and I mean wow 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 great and this whole toy is just chock full of details now if i move them back a little bit i mean you just look at that chest the chest even here with all the parts gears lines everything is super detailed you know from his arms which even yes his hands i was worried about this a little bit but his hands are three finger just like they should be so yeah everything about this toy is very detailed I mean really nice including hold on because a lot of people really wanted the guns because of this yes the Takara version did color they did proper coloring on it you know and of course right here the gimmick the gimmick is you push this and there you go so right there and uh, before it was I took him out but when you put him inside his chest you have to uh, move this piece here and then you just take the two pieces and you slap them together however it goes they just slap together and then when you take them out you gotta go and uh, do that so we just go put in his hand so he's got uh, his guns Gatlin guns so on, let's put them both in there yeah and there you go Rhinox he wants to fall forward this time which is unusual for him alright so there's Rhinox and just all the way around great I mean some people might complain oh look it's a whole rhino on his back I mean it's a beast wars and this I want to accept it because man it looks great I mean as a beast mode fantastic and it's no worse than anything else we got from Rhinox this is just a fantastic Rhinox toy I will say some people had problem with uh him falling back and I will say yeah he's not the most stable character you know like because his heel is so short I mean he really doesn't have any back support you know and he's got he's carrying the rhino so it makes him susceptible to fall down but some people showed like the Hasbro version they did that and the body would fall back or fall forward yeah but his hips are good no problem there and just really great figure I mean I love this figure I'm not gonna lie this is fantastic for me being a Beast Wars fan and especially a Rhinox fan I said Beast Wars I hate Beast Machines because of what they've done to Rhinox that really bothered me and if you know about it good but I don't even want to talk about it, it makes me so mad but so Rhinox yeah, is one of my favorites so this is great I'm happy the only thing the only complaint of course we all have complaints would be if he scaled better with Primal and maybe they'll make a Voyager Primal but for me you know this is you know Primal is just way bigger right now hold on Optimus right there yeah and this is the uh, uh, Beast Wars Reborn 10th Anniversary Optimus Primal. 
the Takara version. Yeah, and he's having a hard time standing. What's going on? You're all right. When does Optimus Prime have a hard time standing? All right, right there. It's good. But yeah, I wish it should be the opposite. Primal's there and Rhinox, but it's all right. Scales much better when, than when you had the little deluxe Rhinox. So fantastic. Glad to have them. So we can get right to the summation. Oh wait, almost forgot. Articulation. All right. Head is on a ball joint. Goes all the way around. Shoulder. Shoulder is nice because it has this movement up here. If you wanted to, you could, you know, detach it to get it higher. But, uh, yeah. You just have that. That's great. It goes around 360, of course. He does have the elbow, but it's not quite 90 degree for the elbow. So you go straight to there, and you have rotation all the way around. Nothing in the el nothing in the uh, wrist. Um, he does have, because of the transformation, a little bit of a swivel. Not much. So you could get a little bit out of him. As far as the legs go, pretty standard. They go, you know, straight up. 360 there. And he's got under the hip. It turns under the hip. And he's got a knee, which is less than 90 degrees. And a tilt for the uh, toe. So, uh, yeah, right there. There's Rhinox. So, time for the summation. Gee, I wonder if I'm going to like this toy. I don't know. Let's go. Alright, time for the summation. And I done been waiting for this. Now, first question. Did they fix Rhinox? Will he stand? Answer? Yes. He is fine. His hips aren't loose. He stands just fine. Is he back heavy? Yep, but nothing to worry about. You just take a second, balance him, and boom, that's it. So, uh, yeah, it seems to be a major improvement over the Hasbro version. Now, how about how does he look? Well, man, his beast mode is amazing. I love it. It's great. Yeah, he can't pose it, but that's not the point. I mean, it's just supposed to look like a rhino. And it do. So, I love it. Robot mode. Man, I do love this robot mode. Is it uh, screen accurate? No, but I don't think it was supposed to be. It's kind of like a Generations Rhinox, which is a little different from the show. So, is he nice? Yes. Is he shiny? Yes. Was he worth waiting all this time just to pick him up instead of just getting the Hasbro ring? Yes, yes, and yes. I love this. It's absolutely fantastic. Loves the coloring. Loves the look of them. And just everything is awesome. So, nice? Yes. Shiny? Yes. Is he good? Yes. And that means... <laughs> Oh, that's good. That is Beast Warsy goodness. Good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye.